Hey guys, Aviola here. Hey, it's James. So if you guys can't tell, we are not home. We are currently in an airport heading back to Philly. Um, we spent the day with my sister. We drove her up here for her internship. So shout out to you, Lolly. We hope you have a good summer. Today's topic is about travel. Where are we, babe? <laughs> We're in Ohio. We're... We have so many places on our bucket list that we want to do um, within like the next two years. Mm -hmm. um, specifically Nigeria. So I mentioned this in another video that my family is from Nigeria, but I've never been. I don't even speak my language. That's one of the biggest places that we have on our bucket list right now for so many reasons. Um, but really for me, I, I do feel like it's a piece of me that's missing. Never have been to my country. And it's so crazy. I get kind of frustrated. I meet people and they're like, oh, Abiola, you know, where are you from? I'm like, oh, I'm Nigerian. And they usually know, they just want me to confirm. But then they're like, oh, have you ever been home? I'm like, no. Do you speak your language? I'm like, no. And they're like, oh, you're an American Nigerian. It's like, why are you trying yeah. to strip away like the little bit that I have? Like, <laughs> so not to prove anyone wrong or say, well, I do know my language or I've been home. But I've always just desired to just be there. You know, learn all recipes, learn everything, meet my family. Because so many of my family members still live there. And thank God for social media, I've been able to connect with a lot of them. Coming soon, I'm going to do an ancestry uh, genealogy test as well. We're going to test his genealogy because we <laughs> want to know where my husband is from. I'm going to figure out where I'm from, where my family's from. And uh, then that will be a part of us that will eventually add and uh, work on that too. So I'm excited so for that. Right now, what we're going to do is talk about the places that we've been separately. And then the places that we've been together and the places we're planning on going in the near future. I haven't really been many places without him, to be honest. I mean, my family, we traveled together for road trips. We would always just leave Brooklyn and just drive south. And we just stop at different homes along the way. Um, so I've been to a few states, Georgia. We've all been to Florida. I'm sure everybody has gone to at least Disney World, <laughs> Universal Studios, Sea Hope World. So. Yeah, we've been to Sea World a few times. I took a cruise with my family in 2009, went to Nassau, Bahamas. That was fun too, but I think when you're young, you don't really appreciate a cruise because you can't really do anything. Yeah. But now that we're older, he's never been on a cruise, so we plan on doing that soon as well. Absolutely. But yeah, I haven't really been to many places without you. So I've been to Vegas. Uh, I've been we went to, to Vegas together too. Yeah, we went to Vegas together. I also went with uh, one of my fraternity brothers. Um, we've been to California without Abiola as well. Uh, we also went together. We've been to San Francisco, San Jose. We're actually going to San Jose in like two weeks. Yeah. We Remix. haven't been to, we haven't been to, I've also been to LA, but we haven't been to I LA mean, together. We stopped at LAX and connected. That doesn't count though. That right? doesn't count okay. if you don't need an airport, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> In that case, I've been all over the place. Right. We've so, uh, we've been to Phoenix as well together. Um, Charlotte, Cleveland. I also traveled uh, with the Gospel Choir at Millersville University. Everyone the MU Colors, shout out to MU. Yeah, Paris um, was probably our most exciting trip to date together. We went to Paris, France. I got sick out there. Yeah, so. Everybody in Europe smokes cigarettes, and I have a really, I don't know what it's called. I need to look it up. Maybe it's an I'm allergy. allergic to it. Yeah. But as soon as I smell cigarette, I immediately start to have like cold symptoms. My mm -hmm. nose starts to run, my eyes tear up. Sneezing. Sneezing. But it's not just like for a few minutes or an hour. It literally lasts for two or three days. Mm -hmm. So whenever I'm around cigarettes or I see somebody lighting up, I just have to do this. Mm -hmm. But in Paris, because everybody, like, everybody. everybody. Everybody, Everywhere. male, female, young, old, like everybody smokes out there. And it's, it's, it was bad. I got sick within like the first day. Mm -hmm. So we had to cut our trip short. At that point, we were just wasting our money. I couldn't even go outside. We were just in a hotel all day, <laughs> so we just came home. One of the things that I would love for you to talk about, because I think this is an experience that many people can relate to, is um, what is it like, what does it feel like, I guess, not knowing where you're from? And I guess I could say really quickly, just for me being Nigerian, um, just the way I was raised, you know, from the, the culture that we had in our home, you know, between my father being very intentional about how he cooked and just sharing stories with us. Like, I had a sense of belonging. When I meet another Oshubidu, I know we're related. Like, it's not like, we went to an event once and someone had their name down on the sign-in sheet and their name was Booker. Mm -hmm. And like, he was like, who, like, they didn't even know each other, but you guys had the same last name. To me, that's so foreign, but, um, that's something I think a lot of, you know, black Americans experience, not knowing where they're from. And, yeah, I guess you can just talk on that a little bit. What is that like for you? Honestly, it doesn't matter much if you don't care, um, you know, and if you don't know the history about behind it. But I think it's, it's very important. Um, if you look at any traditional African culture, your name is very important. So they name you based on something, like your name means something. They don't give you a name because it's unique. For example, the name James actually means successor. I don't know. If, people out there named James know that, but it, it means a successor. So somebody that 
um, is the next in line to take, you know, usually royalty. Like if, if you're, you're a prince, you're going to end up being the next king. Um, the name Abiola means born into wealth. Um, and when you talk about Oshubudu, that's her family's name. So if you go to Nigeria and you mention that name, people know where they go. They know who that family is based on their name. Um, now with African Americans, a lot of us are named after slave masters. Whose name are we carrying? You know, it's not our name. Um, you know, somebody else's. Basically, you know, in African culture, whatever your family represents, that's that's what people think of when they hear the name. But if you care, that your name means a lot. So, uh, and we're gonna do the ancestry test, and you know, who knows? Maybe I'll end up changing my name. Um, we'll see. But like I said, a different different topic for a different day. If I'm not comfortable with my last name, I don't want you taking it, and then, like, we don't know what it means. Right. And obviously when you have children, you know, it was very important to my father for us to know our name. Like, literally, it was a form of discipline. Like, you're going to shame our name. Like, you can't just be acting like a crazy person. Like, right. you represent me, you represent our home. Like, you can't act like that. So when we have our children, it's like, how do you instill that? And you can't. I'm not saying you can't. Again, if you don't really care, then it's not really an issue. But... For us, it's so important to have strong kids, you know, with a, you know, a really deep foundation. They know exactly who they are. They have, you know, a sense of integrity, a sense of pride. And that's something that I, I love that I had growing up. So as we got closer, and that was something that I realized he didn't have. It really just it gave me a sense of empathy for, you know, African-Americans. That's something that I feel everyone should have. And we made, you know, we joked about it, but, like, that should be part of the reparations. Am I saying that right? Yeah. Reparations? Yeah. yeah, so. That should be part of reparations. At least you know. a free genealogy test. Yeah, everybody should <laughs> get a free least. genealogy test because it's, once you know, it's so, it's so amazing. And that's why I feel like I have to go home. Like, right. the sense of pride that I have today, and even just like learning little words and little phrases in Europe, that makes me so happy. So, going home, I can't imagine. I know I'm going to change for the better. And we're currently teaching ourselves how to speak the language. So, Baoni. Baoni. Alafia ni mua. <laughs> so you know we know small things like colors body parts um mm -hmm. numbers certain shout phrases and stuff like that right so shout out to the nigerians a caro a casson a kale depending on what time you're watching this video so what he said was good morning good afternoon and good evening absolutely um so so yeah i mean you know i definitely want to do an ancestry genealogy test sometime this year and figure out you know where i'm from where my family is from and i think it's very important um, and this is one thing that me and Abiola talk about pretty often um, with, with her knowing that her dad is from Nigeria. It creates a sense of pride, a sense of identity. Um, he's very passionate about being from Nigeria and he raised them to be very passionate and be uh, very, you know, very prideful about what your name means. And I think that's something that African Americans miss. But, uh, you know, for example, the Jackson last name is a very popular name among black people that's actually... Uh, well, my mother's side of the family, their last name is Jackson, but that was actually a very big plantation, you know, and they owned a lot of slaves. So, therefore, a lot of African Americans have that last name. Um, yeah, remember the time we went to an event? Oh, final call. Okay, let's go. See ya. Oh <laughs> Stop the video. Okay. Yeah, right, so. Sorry, we got our water passes. We're currently going to our plane. Yeah, <laughs> you can finish so. your thought. Well, definitely, you know, we'll, we were talking about genealogy and how important that is, but, you know, we'll, we'll share more about that in another video. We'll do quickly. I have a question. Y'all, comment down below what you think. How crazy would it be if he's not your <laughs> Like, I will probably cry my eyes out because I think that is so cool. But, yeah, we're going to board our flight now. So, we're all seated um, on our way out. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, definitely um, let us know what you know below. Um, comment. We love to interact with people that are watching our, our channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, and comment what you think about the topic that we talked about today. And, uh, you know, let's let's all figure out where we're from, you know. Yeah. African Americans and people who aren't African Americans. Well, well, I actually have to figure out where my mother's side of the family is from. Um, mm -hmm. We don't know where she's from either. So I was actually thinking of getting hers tested. With her permission, of course. And obviously that'll answer my question where my from. I'll just divide that in half. Is that how, isn't that simple? You just divide it in half? <laughs> I don't know. I <laughs> we'll figure it out. But yeah, yeah, let us know what you think and we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks see you for watching. Fully. We'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.